you, my fortunate internet surfer, have just clicked on the greatest introduction video in the history of everything. Okay, that, that, that may have been too much. So, right now, I can probably guess what you're thinking. <laughs> uh, okay, I can't guess what you're thinking because, well, I'm not a psychic. But I know what I'd be thinking if I saw yet another YouTube channel. What? With a video title like this one popping up on my recommended videos list. What? I'd be thinking, okay, who is this semi-good-looking geeky dude? Ah! What? And why on earth should I listen to his expertly edited video content? I mean, I've got plenty of channels to look at, plenty of shows to binge. Why on earth do I need to look at this? What are you asking me for? I don't know! These are all great questions, and I'm very glad you asked them. And since this is an introduction video, let me introduce myself. You can call me Papa Murph, and you, my lucky interwebs explorer, have found a unique voice in the digital cacophony of chaos that is the World Wide Web. Okay, that was too much. Pull it back, pull it back. If you allow for a little transparency from a total stranger... No, God! No, God, please, no! No! I would love to share three potentially controversial facts about myself. Three. Controversial fact number one, I should probably tell you that I'm a boomer. Okay, well, technically not a boomer. I mean, I wasn't born in the 1950s. Actually, I was born in 1969. You're old. That's right, kids. You're listening to a literal survivor of the horrors of the 1970s and 1980s. Why are you, why are you so old? Yep, I drank out of garden hoses. I rode bikes without a stitch of safety equipment on and barely any clothes. And I traveled long distances in vehicles without seat belts. I am what you would call a living modern miracle in more ways than one. So, you may be wondering why an ancient relic of the distant past is polluting the interwebs with his boomer spew. Well, if you're among the teeming masses of people who think boomers are these out-of-touch old people who have nothing positive or helpful to contribute to society, I'd like an opportunity to break that particular stereotypical mold. mold. Which brings me to personal confession number two. I am a card-carrying, comic book reading, video game playing, sci-fi consuming, star anything loving, old school nerd. NERD! Now, I know identifying yourself as a nerd in this post-Marvel DC cinematic universe world is all the rage today. Shall we? But let me tell you, publicly admitting your love of nerd culture in a 1980s middle or high school wasn't just socially uncomfortable, it was literally physically dangerous. Trust me when I tell you, I saw the inside of a ton of lockers. Lots of trash cans and toilets back in the day. And that's just the bullied at school starter pack. But now that it's somewhat cool to be a nerd, it's time for me to come out of the closet, also known as my parents' basement, and publicly embrace my inner nerd. Nerd! 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 But these two revelations about me can't hold a candle to my third and most controversial confession. I have been a born-again Christian since I was 12 years old. Truth be told, I'm not only a Christian, I have been a Christian pastor for most of my adult life. So you may be wondering why a middle-aged nerdy Christian pastor has decided to leave the safety of his quiet, anonymous life and publicly merge onto the information superhighway. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. The short answer is, I should be dead. 
No, not from Garden Hose Water or any of the many adventures I enjoyed back when I had youthful energy and hair. In the summer of 2019, I was involved in a motorcycle accident that should have killed me. That's not hyperbole. I came off my motorcycle and literally bounced down the shoulder of a major highway wearing the same amount of safety equipment that I used to wear during my bicycle riding days back in the 1980s. Yep, that means I was pretty much naked on a motorcycle on a major American freeway. If your immediate response to hearing this is to let me know how stupid I was for riding a motorcycle without any safety equipment, just know that I agree with you 1000%. Like I said, I should be dead. But instead of killing myself, I was miraculously spared. And I only had a broken leg and some road rash to show for it. So after an extended season of recovery, some very, very deep soul searching and some preparation, I am publicly following the Godfather of Souls instructions to Get up off of that thing! And so, here I am, putting myself in the public eye to share some of the unique knowledge and experience and even some wisdom that I picked up along my five decade and counting journey on this planet in an effort to add my voice to the growing chorus of voices on the intertubes. Yep, there's going to be content that is loaded with free speech, pop, and nerd culture references, and even topics of conversation designed to make you think. Or think I'm a weird nerd, at least. And yes, my friends, there will definitely be some very Christian perspectives and overtones, and even some Bible references. But really, my goal here is just to help. I just want to help anyone who will listen to try and get a handle on what on earth is going on on the earth. Well, thank you for taking time to watch the greatest introduction video in the history of the World Wide Web. Oh yeah, and you're welcome to subscribe to the channel if you want, or not. Either way, next time you're in the neighborhood and you're interested in a little free speech exercise, feel free to come on over, put your feet up, and take a load off on Papa Murph's porch. <laughs>